Nathan Noble to kick it off for Ole Miss. Our Darius Stewart and Kenyon Drake are deep. And here we go. Stewart makes a cut, loses the ball. Rebels fall on it. And Alabama, which had a disastrous special teams turnover a year ago in Oxford, fumbles away the opening kickoff. They need nine to move the chains. Kelly in the pocket, fires near side, incomplete for Evan Ingram, who saw Eddie Jackson bearing down on him. Just the second field goal attempt of the season for Gary Wunderlich. They've been scoring touchdowns, not field goals, and Alabama has to be pleased to give up only three. The third down conversion is the biggest concern, and that's a lot of why you're seeing Bateman now get his opportunity. Bateman has it, flips it short to O.J. Howard. The tight end gets a block on the edge and has room down the sidelines. The block by Robert Foster, the receiver sprung him. Need a yard on third down, give it to Henry again. That is not his strength. Sidestepping in the hole, and he's dropped for a loss. Quick penetration by Woodrow Hamilton, the nose tackle. Bateman looked left immediately. Completion, but not a first down. Robert Foster caught it, was hit a yard short. Kendarius Webster, the sophomore corner. Terrific recognition and quickness. And Webster's play gives Kelly the ball in a second possession, and he fires it into traffic. Evan Ingram makes a catch in tied territory in a pinpoint throw. He's just as strong, just as, as physical as he's ever been, just a lot quicker. Another pass batted down, something that Alabama does a great job of. Reggie Ragland. So after the 22-yard gain to Ingram, defense rises up, and here comes Will Gleason, the Aussie punter, drops the tip and tries to knock it deep, and excellent coverage there. What does Kiffin dial up on third and six? Bateman looks right, fires complete. Howard hit again and stopped short of a first down. So another third down completion. They were one of the best defenses in the country at that, and Mike Hilton kind of leads the way, the best tackler on the defense. He's a senior. Oh. He's only 5'9", and now the Rebels come across, and they gifted the tie to first down. By far, the guy that is the most dangerous with the ball in his hands. He's got it in his hands again, and he's got the corner. Flips a tackle, first down, across the 30, and here come a couple of flags. Did they hit him late over there? Injuries, broken legs last year. Drake against Ole Miss a year ago in Oxford. He's got it again. Penetration, and that's Robert Kimdichie, the bigger but younger Kimdichie brother who invaded the backfield. But breaks through that double team and gets the penetration. Top five prospect in the next draft. Bateman fires downfield. Catch made far side by Ardarius Stewart. Rebels don't pressure, but they get near Bateman with only three. They dump it off short to Henry, but he's smothered. J.K. Scott, the sophomore punter, trying to break out of a little bit of a slump, boots it high, bounces, and will be downed very near the goal line at the two-yard line. So excellent execution by Scott and the coverage team. A big advantage for Bama. This is Walton again. Trying to get the edge. A quick burst. And you can see the acceleration from the senior out of Memphis. It's a first down. You see a lot of this chess match all night. They snap it at two. Kelly. Pressure. Escapes. Gets a first down. And you can see the skill set of this quarterback. Alabama's personnel group not sure who should be in the game and whether they're lined up in the right spot. Ole Miss tries the middle on third down and Reggie Ragland says, uh-uh. Second and eight. Henry again. Gets rolling. This is the kind of run he feels so comfortable in. Rebels crowd the line, do bring pressure. It's picked up and Bateman fires complete. Foster a leaping catch at the 35. In the second and set, a seven little fake in front. They take a shot and it's just nowhere to run for the receiver. There were four Rebels. Personal foul, face mask, number one of the defense. And 
rush only three. Bateman has time, delivers a strike for a first down. A low throw, and that's Mullaney. Two tight end look for the tide. Ridley in motion, gets it, and gets dropped for a loss. Kim Dietschy showing that explosive first step. Extra point length field goal attempt for Adam Griffith, who's been off to a tough start. 0 for 4 this year. Saban is stuck with him, told fans not to boo him. Bateman stays in as the holder, by the way. And Griffith knocks it through. Didn't look like the most confident kick, but it has to feel pretty good and a, a cheer from the crowd. Now they need 10 on third down. The tie bring pressure. Kelly stands in, fires along the sideline, but Evan Ingram wasn't on the same page as the quarterback, and now a little bit of a scuffle after the play. Mix in some throws downfield, just anything to try to try to hit a groove and try to get some something going on first and 10. Here comes some pressure. Bateman stands in, delivers downfield, and it's intercepted. Nobody in the area but Trey Elston. And look out, he's very dangerous with the ball in his hands. Elston into Alabama territory and dances out of the 25. Already his third pick this season. They'll try it again. This is Wilkins getting in the edge, and he gets a crease and gets a first and goal at the six. Also in the game is a big guy, DJ Jones. Kim DJ has it. Muscles toward the goal line, does not get there as the Alabama big bodies stop the 300 pounder. Fourth down, that is Freeze Gamble here. Liggins, handoff on the edge and just waltzing into the end zone is Jordan Wilkins. So they showed power, but then got to the edge, and the Rebels take the lead, cashing in the interception. Alabama has self-destructed to a certain degree with these mistakes and, and miscues, and it's why Ole Miss right now has 10 points on the board. It's why Saban says they lost in Oxford last year. They put that loss to Ole Miss on their own mistakes, and it's happening again tonight. This is Drake. He can change a game with a play. A good coverage by the Rebels. They knock him down short. Of the 20, the ball comes out again. Wait a minute. Turnover again a fumble on the kickoff It'll be Ole Miss ball not a touchdown and now Kelly a chance to add to the lead a pump fake On first down takes a shot to the end zone jump ball broken up and a flag comes in as Minka Fitzpatrick was defending Ingram true freshman against the junior three receivers to the left Kelly with the keeper tries to get to the edge lowers the shoulder goes airborne and dives in for a touchdown So that's what Ole Miss knows. They're going to rush three, drop eight, probably more often than not, try to give him small windows to throw into. And Coker needs 11 on third down. Fires a strike. Mullaney makes the catch. It is a first down across the 35. Coker delivers. First down strike. Across midfield, O.J. Howard. Close, but not quite. So far, second and ten. They flip it to Henry. Gets away. Gets a couple blocks and muscles near the marker. He's going to be just short. And Drake's got it. And he just has the first down. Stewart is going to throw it. Or wanted to anyway. In the end, is just going to be wrestled down for a loss. A physical tackle. Drake has not gotten loose tonight yet for a big play. Coker, a screen to Henry. Has blockers. And gets ahead of steam and dives down inside the 25. It's another first down for Alabama. Minus Foster to the tide have another third and long conversion. They are three for three on this drive on third down. They need 10. Right away, Coker has to sidestep pressure. Chased. Stays alive, weaving, and gets a first down and goal. That might be the run of his life. Coker looking far side. Flips it to Mullaney, who leaps and hurdles for a touchdown. I'd like to have the thought bubble above Jake Coker. <laughs> And to be very disappointed not to get the start tonight. Bateman didn't really play that poorly. 
But Coker given a chance. He was excellent on that drive. Rebels got a couple touchdowns within a minute in the second quarter following those turnovers. They'll get the ball to begin the third quarter. But for now, the concern for Ole Miss is poor field position. On first down, Kelly fires. It's complete. Treadwell looking to make an impact tonight. Twists for about a nine-yard game. Sometimes I think Hugh Freeze, when he gets into these big games against heavyweight opponents, I think he saves some things in his bag. Ingram motions to the backfield. Stays in as a blocker as Kelly fires near side and Cody Kaur makes a catch near the 35. It'll be close to a first down. This is where you hate these offenses where you can't get under center. It's almost six, eight, eight inches. Pick up the first down. High snap. Kelly has to collect it. Makes a desperation heave into traffic. Treadwell off his hands and into the hands of Adebayo. A crazy carom and a touchdown for the Rebels. Oh, my goodness. Tied at the 25, again down by 14. Play action for Coker, who delivers a strike. Ridley in space. The talented true freshman out near midfield, and the tie trying to answer quickly. Johnny Manziel, who created some crazy plays to, to beat the tide. And again, that was the last time they've even been down 14 at home. Coker, deep drop, chased by Kim Dietschy. Gets away. Coker, the runner, all of a sudden. Where has this been? First down inside the 35. Coker fires looking for Mullaney, who was absolutely blanketed in coverage by Tony Connor. Fourth down. Rebels are showing pressure. And they bring it. And Coker still has time. Delivers in traffic incomplete. Alabama pointing for a flag as Mike Hilton was in coverage, but he just wags that finger and says, nope. <laughs> Kelly just lost the ball. Now he goes and jumps on it. Was his arm coming forward? He was pressured. Called it a fumble. It's third and nine here. Third and eight. He went and collected it. Now Kelly on third down to Treadwell over the shoulder grab in Alabama territory. A beautiful throw, and finally we see number one. They want size, length, and blocking strength in the perimeter as well in this offense. Got to hurry. Kelly over the middle, wide open. Liggins running free, and he's another big guy, 6'3". Kelly pressured again, just lobs it into the end zone. He was knocked down after the throw, Ronnie Harrison. And that was just bringing six. And when you bring six, a quarterback's got to be able to account for that last guy and get rid of the football as quickly as he can. So Wonderlich, good from 32 earlier and good from 34 right there. He might be fighting through cramps. So we'll have to keep an eye on him here in that second half. But when he's healthy, He's been too much of a force. Poker flips it to Henry on the edge, and he's dropped for a loss. Denzel Kandici shot through there. This team came in here expecting to win. Walton gets a crease. He almost busted a huge run. Reuben Foster dragged him down, but the Rebels moved the chains, and here comes perhaps more tempo. We were in Oxford on Thursday, and there was an expectation that Ole Miss would come in and, and do this. Completion on the far side and breaking free is core. Finally shoved out by Eddie Jackson, but another explosive play. First down of 15. Kelly's hit. Loses the ball. Now they're going to rule incomplete. Raglan has it, and the crowd's going crazy, but the arm coming forward and incompletion is ruled. That time he was clearly made some mistakes on that drive at the end of that drive. Wonderlick who remains perfect in his career inside of 50 yards. He's 10 for 10. But again, another possession with some urgency because last time he called it a crucial. They went three and out. Now they're three points farther behind. Coker throws right into the hands of Kendarius Webster, who dropped a would-be pick. Coker rolling. Chase delivers a strike. And the catch is made there by Stewart. Henry in the game. He figures to get it. Now they're going to throw in third down. Ridley makes a catch. Makes a man miss. 
And the true freshman finally collected there. They, they have to step up. Somebody has to make a defense fear that he can catch it and make a move and, and get upfield. Really could be that guy. Here's Henry. Stiff arm on the edge. Derrick Henry rumbling free in the secondary. A big gain down inside the 25. He's out, and Drake is in the game. Rebels crowd the line, bring pressure, but it's a completion to Stewart, who's knocked down inside the 15, right near the first down marker. They give it to him. He bounces it and has a first and goal at the five. Fatigue will become a factor in the fourth quarter. Coker keeps it and picks his way to the end zone for a touchdown. Definitely not the strength of this Ole Miss offense. There's a first down run and stuffed out, dropped for a loss as Walton. Tied flying to the football now. Reggie Wrangling got there quickly, making life tough for Kelly. Who's trapped and dropped. The Sean Hand got him. And in the final minute of the quarter, momentum building for Bama. Tied. Bring pressure again. Kelly slam for a loss. Back to back sacks after none all night. But we're going to find out here in this fourth quarter. Coker, the throw to Henry. Gets a block on the edge from Howard and muscles down inside the 30, and the Bama offense is rolling now. He's been very sure handed. Give it to him again. Slips the tackle. Still powers forward down inside the 20, and they are beginning to land some body blows. We're starting to see for the first time there is a confidence right now. Second and a yard. Henry again. Hammers forward, bounces off tacklers, and dives down for a first stick down near the 10. Poker on the move, fires short, caught, Stewart, touchdown, walk it in. First down throw, and a dart for a nine yard gain. Third catch for Cody Core. And second and one. Kelly keeps it, throws it, and a completion. Battle Core is running free. And a touchdown for Ole Miss. Kelly went right to the line of scrimmage. Stopped and delivered. It's a page out of that Auburn playbook. A flag is down, so we'll have to see if he crossed the line. It was very close. He's okay. Illegal forward pass, number 10. Offense. Quarterback is beyond the line of scrimmage. I tell you what, I'm Dave, not sure he's across. Dave, they need I, to look at this. Dave, that first look, the first look was a good one. Watch this now. Is there any it's part of his body? It's, it's the black line we're view. looking at. Watch that back step. That it, back foot still it, in the back. His entire leg is behind. I agree. After review, it has been determined that the quarterback was not beyond the line of scrimmage. Therefore, we have a touchdown. This will be interesting. Bunch formation. Buchanan looks that way. Kim Deach, he just dropped it. He was a little eager there, and the tie were all over in anyway, so the two-point oh, drive doesn't oh, work. Oh. Tide need five on third down, but it's intercepted. Coker threw it right into traffic, and C.J. Johnson, the senior captain, with the turnover. Alabama minus four in turnovers now. And this is Wilkins. Nice first down gain. They fake it to Wilkins. Kelly throws for the end zone. Dreadwell jump ball touchdown. He beat Cyrus Jones, and that might be the kill shot for the Remember Rebels. How we talked about he's saving some things. Still 9.50 to play. Serious urgency. Coker fires sidelines. Leaping catch made by Stewart. And he's across midfield. That touchdown pass to core understandably it looks like it's taken a lot out of this Alabama offense they were excited and fought back Coker on third and ten delivers off the hands of Drake and it's fourth down mm. a lot of folks like them <laughs> yeah.
quite a few. Coker on fourth down steps up and delivers to Mullaney right at the marker. You need four and third. Henry takes off, breaks the tackle, and they move the chains again at the 26. You know, and, and one of the things with Lane Kiffin threw his hands in the air. I don't, I don't know if he got the right call or not. There's confusion. Goes back to the boundary. It's Ridley making a catch, but he's going to be thrown for a loss. That, Channing that, Ward dropped him. He's been all over the field here. So on third and long, Coker delivers over the middle of strike to Howard, who pinballs off defenders and gets down inside the five. Now he's lined up to the right of Coker. Henry keeps it and cuts it back for a touchdown. So Alabama was 636 to play. Coker just rolls the pocket and delivers high. I was looking for Ridley, but no chance to make a play. And Robert Kimdichie was right there with a, with a whole bunch of Alabama players to the left side. Darius Stewart, the receiver, is at the top of that formation. You get a big hop, batted in the air, still rolling around out there, and the tide fall on it. Tony Brown or Cam Sims collected it. it wasn't ruled that way, and now the tide at the 30 yard line against the tire defense. But pressuring the quarterback immediately, Denzel Kimdich, or Robert Kimdichie again making life miserable for Coker. Been fighting through cramps here in the second half. It comes up with a big play. Coker on second and long gets some of it back to Ridley. Kimdichie at the right defensive end spot. Well blocked that time, and Mulaney makes a first down catch at the 15, and this is getting interesting again. Henry again. Down to the two. Poker this time rolls out, fires in the air to a touchdown. Mulaney again. One score game. All of a sudden, it's very tense for Kelly and the Rebels offense. Quarterback drops immediately, wrestled down at the line of scrimmage by Denzel Duvall, the linebacker. Kelly still has it, fires far side. Catch is made and breaking free on the far side is DeMore Stringfellow as the Rebels pick up a first down. Alabama went all in on this series to get the football back. They bring some pressure, Kelly delivers. Almost intercepted by Minka Fitzpatrick as Treadwell fell down. Kind of rubbed his fellow receiver yeah, on that exactly. one. So Gleason rolls to his left, boots it away. Cyrus Jones is driven back inside the 10 and knocked down right there. Excellent coverage as Carlos Davis flew down there. Win the game and clearly reclaim the quarterback position. In his end zone, scrambles out. Coker has plenty of running room. This goes against the scouting report. Several huge runs tonight. 26 yard gain. Coker loops it downfield. Underthrown and intercepted by Tony Bridges. And that, as Coker hits the deck after the throw, could do it. Kelly keeps it, gets the edge. Gets a first down, gets across the 45, and a flag comes out where he was tackled. That was a horse collar, I think. Walton again, squirts free, dives forward down near the 30. If that's a first down. That will be the last nail. Wow. Just wow. Short. I, I, I made this point earlier about these offenses that are in the gun. Who can the tide make a stop here? Give the offense one desperation chance. Ligon straight ahead. Not going to get it. And they're running in short of the 30 yard line, so the clock stops. BYU beat Nebraska this year. And the last play, Hail Mary. Coker delivers over the middle, and that's dropped. Just took his eye off the ball. Coker, heaves it, 
And it's incomplete. And that'll do it. Plus five in the turnover margin is the entire story of the game. And Chad Kelly has waited a long time to play on a stage this big. Quarterbacks a road win, perhaps not the night he'd hoped for, but he finishes with 341 yards, two unconventional long touchdown passes, to say the least. So the Rebels shake up the season in week three, 43-37.